Alright guys, I'm at the top of the hill above Jerome in the Mingus Mountains. And uh I came up through the backside over Prescott and uh I'm just past the top of it, which is kinda cool. Yeah, just past the top of it, I only went like maybe, I don't know, half a mile down before I stopped. Why the hell's my mirror all messed up? Oh, because I'm going downhill, sir. Just wanted to show you some of the cool twisties of this trail, or this road, rather. Pretty cool. Except it's rough. It's rough as heck, man, but on the other side of the mountain, they're redoing it all. Uh, so I think they're going to be making their way to this side of the mountain. And it's that new road material, you know, the rubberized asphalt kind of stuff. It, it sucks when they first lay it down because it pops up real easy. Kind of like patchwork, you know, when they patch potholes and whatnot. That's what they, uh, pretty much what they use in a nutshell. Top of this hill, you know, above Jerome, it's uh, it's called Potato Patch, <laughs> and uh, that's supposed to be haunted. I don't know if it is or not. I don't know if I believe in that or not. Ah! Came up on me. The only thing I suck at is my corners, man. Who else sucks on their cornering? Who else needs some work on that? I do my counter steering. I do my leaning. It's actually, the only time I have a problem is when a corner comes up too fast on me. If I know that the corner's there and it's sharp as hell, I, I can take it and haul ass on it. But, you know, when I haven't been on a road in a long time, kind of like this. Yeah, freaking bumpy. That, I don't want to lose traction on this shitty ass pavement. the Verde Valley. There's Sedona, all those red rocks, man. That's where I live. Not Sedona, but uh, in the Verde Valley. I can never live in Sedona. There's too many hippies and what we call Sedona woo-woos. Just weird people, man. You know, for them to have a good day, that means that the moon has to be in the right phase. The stars have to be in the right alignment. Mercury has to align with Venus. And, you know, they got to shove some incense oil up their pung hole and yeah <laughs> they're just weird my, my back tire feels all freaking fishy I don't know if it's the road I just put air in it earlier I don't, I don't feel anything the Verde Valley. Trust me, guys, I, er, I'm not going to record all the way down the Verde Valley. Holy. That'd be a really long video. I'd have to edit stuff out so it would fit. It takes a lot more than 15 minutes to get down there. I think it's the pavement, this whole fishy feeling. I only feel it on uh, the turns when I sit here and do this. I don't feel it at all. And I only feel it on turns with uh, shitty ass pavement. Not feeling it, not feeling it. Watch this, I'll get in this rough stuff, not feel it. Yes. Bingo. That's where she's at. You guys see that gray stuff up there on the mountainside? That would be a huge, huge, huge mine. If you go up there, there's a big steel door. 
Um, you can see one right in front of me, those little signs. That's another mine. It's actually an exhaust vent for the bigger mine. Anyway, uh, if you guys go through, there's a big steel door. But a lot of times you can find these little ass exhaust vents that, you know, no one has uh, closed off or anything. This is the biggest area for mine maintenance, though. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, inspectors, you know, things like that, uh, checking out the mine for safety reasons. Some pretty cool views. I see cottonwood down below. go in and around these mines sometimes and go splunking, checking stuff out. Uh, yes, entering Jerome. Elevation, 5,246. Founded in 1876. Population of this place is only like 200 people. There's three police officers that patrol this area uh, a week. They got rotating shifts out of the week. There's only three of them. So that means there's got to be a day that there's no cops. I mean, if you do the math, you know, there's seven days, there's you got to at least divide the day into two different shifts, so 12-hour shifts, you know. The Jerome Grand Hotel is up to my left, and I don't, because these trees up here, I don't think I'll be able to show you. You can barely see it. That's haunted. They actually do tours of that place looking for ghosts. It's been featured on the Discovery Channel for shiz happening, scary shiz. The gate is closed to get to the Grand Hotel. Dude, I've never seen that gate closed. I've gone up there as a kid. Wow, that one's all boarded up. Oh, the camera's sliding around when I look up. That one's all boarded up. Ah, trying to get the camera straight. Holy moly. That kid was staring at me, so I was like, did you see that, Dad? That guy had a camera in his helmet. How can he see? I'm rocking at 193 degrees. Oh, gravel. So I'm looking around at everything but the road. Drone Fire Department. Town. Now it's just a tourist uh, hangout. Dude, she's okay. There's like a bunch of chicks here. It was cool. I mean, you got uh, like Sedona, you got Jerome. Well, uh, what the hell? You got Sedona, you got Jerome, you know, places like that. And there's a whole bunch of chicks. Most of them are taken. They're celebrating their uh, boyfriends, they're out there vacationing, you know, doing their. Th oh, nice breast. This is. I hope you guys got those boobies. Um, celebrating their uh, engagements, their honeymoons. Yes, they honeymoon in Sedona, Arizona when they have no money. Then they come rent those Tom cars from me. You know, you want the crowd, want to go out there and have fun. Okay. Damn it, I was going to pull over back there and uh, turn my camera off. This is a long video. I'm going to have to cut some of this out to make 15 minutes. I think I could pull over up here. So 
blind dude just sitting there. That guy looked like Russell Crowe almost. There's an old beater. Bunch of old beaters. I know right where we're at. You guys see this retaining wall to the left? You're going to see a yellow Dodge that has been in there. I think it's been in there for 50 years. Watch, you'll see right here. Dodge. At around 50 years, that thing has been in there. What I'm going to do is pull off over here once uh, people learn how to give their machines throttle. Get me out of the 200s. My legs are cooking and I got leather ass. I've been riding this thing for way too long. I am just going to pull over right here. Dink. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I just got to get the camera out of the helmet.